उजबिल्लाजीम बसमीम अल्लाम वरम वर्क वेलकम यू ऑल इनशा विल कंटिन्यू वी आर डूइंग सूरत रहमान एंड इन सूर रहमान वी वे डूइंग अबाउट वन लाइक इन एवरी आया अल्लाह सुबहान अल्लाह तला मैंशन हाउ द डिफरेंट नीमा हेज़ बिन मैंशन सो द नीमा लाइक नो इट इज़ मैंशन एज फबी आलाई रबी कुमार तो कजीबान एंड द रहमान मुशरकिन मक्का दे डिनाई लाइक यू नो वेन रहमान इज मैंशन दे डिनाई दिस इज वन ऑफ द नेम ऑफ अल्लाह सुबहान अल्लाह तला बट द मुशरकिन दे वे नॉट लाइक यू नो अप्रिशिएटिंग दैट सो हियर वी सी सूरत रहमान टिल आया नंबर ट्वेंटी ऑलरेडी वी डेड इन शह फ्राम देर वी कंटिन्यू نحمد هو نسلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فوز بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب إشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لزاني أفقه قولي. so as Allah says again and again this ayah is keep on repeating فبيي آلاء ربكما تكذبان then which of the blessing of your Lord will you both deny who are both here insan uh, and jinn both are mentioned again and again so how we are answerable like we have to do good and go to allah subhanahu wa taala the same way jinn are also answerable they also have to do good they are answerable like yani we all are in this world for temporary like you know few numbered years how much like how much life we have given the time span so here allah subhanahu wa taala talks about या खुरुजा मिन हुमा लू लू अल वर मरजान व आउट ऑफ दैम बोथ कम आउट द पर्ल्स एंड मरजान सो पर्ल्स आर यू नो वेल नोन एज फॉर मरजान हियर दे से इट इज इट मीन स्मॉल पर्ल्स स्मॉल पर्ल्स मुजाहिद कतादा सेड इट हैज़ बीन रिपोर्टेड फ्राम अली इट वॉज ऑल्सो सेड इट मीन्स लार्ज प्रेशियस पर्ल्स दिस वॉज ऑल्सो मैंशन बाई इबन जरीर so here we see you know talking about pearls and uh, ibn hatim recorded from ibn abbas he says when it rains the oysters in the sea open their mouths and what falls in them the drops turn into pearls okay the chain of narration is sahi so this chain of narration is sahi here uh, the type of adornment uh, is a favor from allah subhanahu wa taala to the people of the earth he reminded them of it fabi ayi alai rabbi kuma tu ka zuban we are doing surah turahman ayah number 23 then which of the blessing of your lord will you both deny walahul jawari munshaatu and his the jawari al munshaat means the ship that float so fil bahri in the seas mujahid says whatever the ship hoist a sail it is from the munshaat if it is does not yani hoist a sail it is not from the munshat uh, katada say munshat means created uh, other said the munshiat meaning launch kal alam alam this means they are like mountains with their great size you know have you seen the mountains how great their size will be so the mountain size are great and uh, it also refers to the trade commercial services they make possible yani transporting cargo from one area to another from one province to another ships provide various benefits for people including transporting different types of goods they need fabiyi alai rabbikum atu kasiban which of the blessing of your lord will you both deny so here we see like allah subhanahu wa taala is reminding uh, of different neema and uh, different neemas when we tra- uh, like travel from one place to another from ayah number 21 to 24 you know so which of the favors of your lord would you both deny from both of them they the from both the water sweet and salty uh, emerge pearls and corals so which of the favors of your lord you both deny and to him belong the ship with sails elevated in the sea like mountains and meaning all towering ships 
you see in the sea as if they are floating mountains so which of the favors of your lord would you deny everyone upon the earth will perish this ayah is very powerful kullu man alaiha fan like everything you know you know completely get uh, vanish here only allah subhanahu wa taala will remain even you know angel of death they come and you know take the soul but only rabbul alamin allah subhanahu wa taala will be there allah is the ever living free of all ni kullu man alaiha fan whatever is on the earth and will perish allah states that all the residents of the earth will perish and die the residents of the heaven will die except allah subhanahu wa taala he is hayyul qayyum ever living allah is there only allah honorable face his waj will remain because our lord the exalted the blessed is the ever living who never dies katada says first allah mentioned his creatures then he said that all of this will perish you understand till now you might have seen different creatures ha- has been mentioned one after another have you noticed that now allah subhanahu wa taala is reminding you know all thing will go this will perish except allah subhanahu wa taala allah subhanahu wa taala will remain he allah is hayyul qayyum so first all uh, allah mentioned the creatures legani all the creation then he said all will you know perish and in uh, the reported supplication o oh you that ever living who sustains all that existed ya hayyu ya qayyum bi rahmatika astaghis we make this dua isn't it so and who created heaven and earth without precedence and o oh, o oh you who owns the glory and the honor none has the right to be worship except you we seek refuge with your mercy grant us success in all our matters please do not abandon us to rely on ourselves even for an instant nor on any of your creation kullu man alaiha fan when you have recited this whatever is on the earth will perish do not stop continue reading it wa yabqa wajhu rabbika zul jalali wal ikram and the face of your lord zul jalali wal ikram will remain for ever so this aya is similar to the uh, statement in surah number 28 aya number 88 kullu shay'in halika illa wajha everything will perish save his face whose allah face allah wajh will remain so in this aya allah describe his noble face as being zul jalali wal ikram indicating that he is worthy of being revered and thus never defied and obey and this will never obey This is mentioned in Surah number eighteen, Ayah number twenty-eight. Was be nafsaka ma al-lazina yad una rabbahum bil gaudauti wal ashi yuriduna. Keep yourself patiently, sabr with those who you call on their Lord morning and evening. You call Allah Subhanahu wa Taala in the morning and evening. You remember Allah in the morning and evening. So uh, here Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. we're saying you remember allah morning and evening morning and afternoon and seeking his waj seeking his countenance we want the countenance of allah subhanahu wa taala as he said about those who give charity innama tat e mukum li wajh allah we feed you seeking the allah's countenance why we give the charity what is the reason for it for the waj of allah for the countenance of allah we want the countenance we want to please allah subhanahu wa taala we don't want anything from the people we want from allah subhanahu wa taala surah number 76 ayah number 9 ibn abbas commented on the re- meaning of the zul jalali wal ikram owner of the greatness and pride means after uh, allah stated that all of the inhabitants of the earth will die and end up in the hereafter when he says zul jalali wal ikram will judge them by his fair judgment he said fa bi ayi alai rabbikum atu kazima then which of the blessing of your lord you will deny so allah is mentioning his blessing so allah says allah said in ayah number 29 whoever is in the heaven and earth begs of him every day he is engaged in some affair 
یس الحو من فس سماوات ولعد کلو یوم ہوا فس شان ان دس آیا اللہ افرمز دیٹ ہی از اے رچ فری آف آل وانٹس فار اینی ون ایلس اینڈ دیٹ آل کریچر اسٹینڈس ان نیڈ آف ہم ان آل کنڈیشنس اینڈ سچویشن دے آل سیک ہز ہیلپ ولنگلی اور ان ولنگلی ایوری ڈے ہی از اینگیج ان سم افیئر یو نو وی آل آر ڈیپینڈنٹ آل آن اللہ سبحان اللہ تعالیٰ اللہ از غنی رچ اینڈ وی آر فخی وی آر نیڈی یعنی وی نیڈ ان ایوری اینگل آف اوور لائف اینڈ وی آر ناٹ شیور وین وی گو نو ڈائی اینڈ اللہ از ہی القیم ایور لیونگ اللہ ہیز آل دا پاور بیکاز ہی از دا اونلی کریٹر اینڈ وی آل دا کریشن آف اللہ سبحان اللہ تعالیٰ المعاش رپورٹیڈ فرام مجاہد فرام عبید بن عمیر کلو یوم ہوا فش شان ایوری ڈے ہی از اینگیج ان سم افیئر ہی سیڈ آفس افیئر ہی سیڈ دیٹ دا سپلیکیشن اور گیوس ٹو دا ون ریکویسٹنگ اور ریمووینگ اور ایڈورسٹی اور کیورس دیٹ ون سیکنگ سو اللہ سبحان اللہ تعالیٰ از یو نو ہاؤ اللہ از سو مرسی فل اینڈ اللہ از سو لائک ہیئر اللہ سبحان اللہ تعالیٰ از ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ لائک ہیز افیئر ہی آنسرز دا سپلیکیشن ہی گیوس ٹو ون ہو از ریکویسٹنگ اور ریموو دا ایڈورسٹی or cures the one who is seeking to be cured isn't it we all are dependent on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we all ask only allah we think that you know if somebody is sick we ask we beg allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only allah can do that if any any problem doesn't matter whether it's financial problem it's physical mental spiritual any kind of allah uh, you know answers the dua فبی یہ آلائی ربی کماتو کزیبن آئے نمبر تھرٹی سو جسٹ کوئک ایکسپلینیشن آف دس کلو من علی حفان ایوری ون اپان دا ارتھ ول پیرش ایکسپٹ اللہ ول ریمین و یب خا وج ہو ربی کا ذل جلالی و لکرام اینڈ دیر ول ریمین اونلی ہز فیس ہز وج یور لارڈ اونر آف میجسٹی اینڈ آنر سو وچ آف یور فیور آف یور لارڈ وڈ یو ڈینائی یس الحو من فس سماوات ول ارد کلو یوم ہوا فش شان ہو ایور از ان ود ان دا اسکائی اینڈ ارتھ آسک ہم ایوری کریچر آسک اللہ فار دا فلفلمنٹ آف دیئر نیڈس ایوری ڈے ہی از برنگنگ اباؤٹ اے میٹر ایوری ڈے پرووائڈنگ ڈکرینگ کریٹنگ گیونگ لائف کازنگ ڈیتھ کازنگ سم تھنگ ٹو گرو کازنگ سم تھنگ ٹو فنش ایوری ڈے یو سی ان Uh, countable changes the universe never stops it keep moving and who is it causing all this movement their change kullu yawmin huwa fishan and then again allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mention of his blessing which of your blessing you deny but in ayah number 29 you know when allah says yes aluhum man fil samawati wal ard whoever is in heaven and earth ask him meaning everyone depends on him for the fulfillment of their needs kullu کلا یومی یومن ہوا فشان ایوری ڈے ہی از برنگنگ اباؤٹ اے میٹر مینس ایوری ڈے ڈونٹ یو سی دیٹ آر لائف پرووائڈنگ ڈکرینگ کریٹنگ گیونگ لائف کازنگ ڈیتھ ایوری ڈے یو سی مینی چینجز دا یونیورس از نیور اسٹیل ہیو یو سین لائک یو نو کیپ آن چینجنگ ہاؤ دا رین کمس ہاؤ دا ڈیز چینج ہاؤ دا نائٹ چینجز پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ریسائڈ دس آئی اینڈ سائڈ ہیز افیئر انکلوڈس فار گیونگ سینس ریلیونگ ڈسٹریس raising some people bringing others low so we see that changes that we experience in our lives they are actually by the command of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we should not become arrogant with the blessing nor should we despair in hardship because he can changes the things in fact he does change them every single day in fact every moment something or the other is happening katada said inhabitants of the earth and the sky cannot be independent of allah because he gives life to those who are lifeless he gives death to those who are die he raises the young he raises the prisoner he fulfills the needs and responds to the pleas of his servants who else can they explain i uh, yani complain to we only ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and subhanallah we reflect over this in single moment through a single event so much is happening kullu yawmin huwa fishan yani just think about our own body 
our own brain about all the min- millions of the brain connection you know that are happening within our nervous system yani all of that is happening without you having any control over it who is using all of that kullu kulla yawmin huwa fishan and this is not just happening in you but in every single human being every single creature and remember nothing ha- happens except by the permission of allah illa bi iznillah how great is his knowledge how many are his decrees qadar yet you think bad of him or you doubt about him right or you despair uh, we, we should never despair we should have complete tawakkul on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we should have complete belief on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then think about it in a single moment through a single event he creates ease for some servants he test other servants through yani one event can be cause of success for some and the loss for others this is why we should not be impatient with the things that happen meaning one thing could be very painful for you very difficult for you but you don't know how the same difficulty could actually be a cause of goodness for other people for example you know somebody may going through a hardship allah relieves it person to person you know many people they don't even tell they don't have any friends they don't have any relatives but they have strong bond with allah subhanahu wa taala they beg allah they ask allah even though they don't say it's in their heart allah answers them allah relieve them allah is answering to each and every one one to one ask allah beg allah kulla yawmin huwa fishan so don't despair right now the things may be not in your favor but you know what what they will if they do tawakkul complete trust on allah subhanahu wa taala hasbun allah wa ni'mal wakil have complete trust on allah leave on allah subhanahu wa taala allah will you know solve your problem fa bi ayyi alai rabbikum atukazzibu and so which of your favors of your lord would you deny we will attend to you o prominent uh, beings means o man and jinn your time is coming you will be held accountable aren't we yes we are so which of your favors of your lord would you deny o company of jinn and mankind if you are able to pass beyond the regions of the heaven and earth then pass means try to escape can we no we can't you will not pass except by the authority from allah subhanahu wa taala so which of the favors of your lord would you deny there will be sent upon a flame of fire and hot smoke and you will not defend yourself meaning there is no escape from this universe you cannot escape allah's plan fa bi ayyi alai rabbikum atukaziban and when the heaven is split open and becomes rose colored like oil so which of the favors of your lord would you deny then on the day none will be asked about his sins among men or jinn people will not be asked did you commit the sin why did you commit it meaning confession will not be necessary why because the records are there the deeds will be there it is recorded with allah subhanahu wa taala and it is a powerful recording there is not nothing like you know in this dunya the memory is not equivalent or something may happen there you know complete so which of the favors of your lord would you deny the crimin- criminals will know by their marks recognized by the appearance they will be seized by the four locks and the feet be meaning from above and below there is no escape so here we see allah is again and again reminding which are the favors we can deny but we have to remember how the things will be on the day of judgment because allah says fa iza shaqqat is sama fa kanat wa raddatan wardatan kadihan and when the heaven is split open and becomes rose colored oil and meaning on the day of judgment prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said on the day of judgment when people will be resurrected the sky will be as though it will be rain fire on them the sky will appear as if it's going on rain fire on them fabi ayi alai rabbikum atukaziban then on that day none will be asked about his sin among men or jinn means because sins will be obvious it is recorded 
it is there with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so when allah talks about in ayah number 31 a warning to human beings and the jinns sanafuqu lakum ayyuha saqlan we shall attend to you saqlan here ibn jubair said the ayah sanafuqu sanafuqu we shall attend to you means we shall judge you bukhari said it means we shall recompense you surely nothing will busy allah from attending to anything else allah will give the full if you have done good allah will give you good result if you have done evil allah will give that evil so we shall recompense this type of speech pattern is common on the arabic language for example one would say i will attend to you even when one is not busy with anything else allah saying ayyuha saqlan refers to the humans and the jinns in the hadith yasmauha kullu shay'in so there will be able to hear except the saqlan yani saqlain is in another narration prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says illa insu wa jinn except mankind and jinn fabi ayya alai rabbikuma tukaziban then which of the blessing of your lord will you both deny then ya ma sharal jinni wal insi in istatatum an tanfuzu min akhtar is samawati wal ard fan fuzu lan tanfuzu illa bi sultan o assembly of jinn and men if you are able to pass beyond the zones of the heaven and earth then pass beyond them but you will never be able to pass them like yani allah subhanahu wa taala is throwing a challenge if you want to pass by can you able to pass you don't have authority do we no we don't have any authority meaning you will never be able to escape allah's orders and decrees because it encompasses you you will never be able to avoid or avoid and this rule allah is able to do whatever allah wants you know uh, avoid to avoid his rule judgment over you and you are surrounded by it whatever you may be this is about the gathering when the angels comprising seven lines in every direction will surround the creature none of the creatures will able to escape on that day illa illa bi sultan yani except be able to escape that day yani except with the commandment from allah subhanahu wa taala so here yaqulul insana yawma is in aina uh, uh, mafar uh, this is mentioned in surah number 75 ayah number 10 to 12 on that day man will say where is the refuge to flee and there is no refuge unto your lord will be the place of the rest that day ila rabbika yawma is in mustaqar and allah says in ay number uh, 27 surah number 10 and those who end earn evil deeds the recompense of the evil deed is like that of humiliating disgrace will cover them yani you know when humiliation is there the, the the face becomes you know darken and no defender will uh, they have from allah their faces will be covered as if with the pieces from the darkness of the night they are dwellers of the fire and they will abide therein forever fabi ayya alai rabbikuma tukaziban then which of the blessing of your lord will you both deny allah statement yursala yursalu alaykuma shuazum min an-nar wa nuhasun so there will be sent against you both shuaz means fire nuhas and you will not be able to defend yourself you know just imagine fire and you are not able to defend yourself abu saleh said it is a flame above the fire below the smoke dahak said shuaz min an-nar the flood of the fire allah said wa nuhas ali ibn abi talha reported from ibn abbas the smoke of the fire similar was reported from uh, ibn jubair said that the call the smoke of fire nuhas and nihas but he said the scholars of quran recitation said this ayah word recited nuhas and uh, you know molten brass poured over their heads and uh, uh, nuhas is a liquid copper dahak said 
the aya means if you mankind and jinn try to escape on the day of resurrection then the angels including those among who guard hell fire will bring you back by directing smoke of the fire and molten brass on you so here you will not be able to defend yourself then which of the blessing of your lord would you uh, would you deny so allah talks about uh, for is an shakkat is sama the horror of the day of resurrection allah says when the heaven is uh, rent asunder on the day of resurrection this meaning is clear in this similar ayah says uh, surah number 69 ayah number 16 man shakkat is sama fa hiya yawma izin wa hiya and the heaven will be rent asunder for that day the heaven will be frail and torn up and one more surah surah number 25 and number 25 yawman shaqqa samaa and remember the day when the heaven rent asunder with clouds angels will be sent down with a great uh, descending and allah says in surah number 84 and number 1 and 2 is a samaa shaqqat when the heaven is split asunder and the listens to obey and its lord allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and it becomes like warda like kaddihan fakanat wardatun kaddihan this means they will melt just as the sediment and silver are melted with the heat and they will be colored just as dye stains something sometimes red sometimes yellow blue or green this demonstrates the extent of the horrors of the might of the day of resurrection sudhi said it will be a rosy color and as a filth oil so mujahid says kaddihan like the colors of dyes then which of the blessing of your lord will you both deny allah says yawma is in so on that day he will not be questioned about his sins neither human nor jinn and zambi they will not be asked about their you know uh, sins allah says in uh, surah number 77 I number thirty five and thirty six. That will be day when they shall not speak and they will not be permitted to put forth any excuses. This is the case at the time. Then all the creatures will be questioned about their deeds. And Allah says in Surah number fifteen, I number ninety two and ninety three. So by our Lord, we shall certainly call all of them to the account. So Allah will call them to the account. So we are answerable. What we are doing, Allah is asking us. so on that day on the day will be question and their mouths will be sealed and their hands and the feel uh, feet will reveal what they used to on which of the blessing of your lord both deny allah the exalted says you rafu mujrimuna bi simahu the criminals will be known by their marks special marks that distinguish them al hasan and qatada says that so the criminals will be known by their marks inshallah we'll end here we'll continue in the next class subhanakallahumma bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh jazakallahu khairan kaseera inshallah we'll continue in the next class